So um, guys, there's two kind of different formulas that I just want to at least um, go back and make sure you guys are aware of. When we were talking about the sum of interior angles, remember we want to find, remember we talked about a triangle we knew it was 180. And then what we did is we broke up the rest of the polygons into different triangles. And therefore, we could find the sum. So Layla, what, what exactly that representative was, if we had s equal the sum of all the interior angles, we said that was equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So what you could do is take the number of sides, which we said was n. So n equal the number of sides. If, so if you do that, minus 2 times 180, that equals s, which is the sum of all interior angles. Okay. Now, the next thing that we talked about, not last class period, but the class period after that, was what about if we want to find one interior angle? All right. And when we want to find one interior angle, well, that was we had to make sure that there was one kind of constraint. The polygon had to make sure it was regular. And we talked about this. Remember, regular are when we have polygons that have the exact same angles and side lengths. So let's go and talk about two of them here. This is a regular triangle, also known as an equilateral. All the sides are exactly the same, and the angles are exactly the same. Can I see that? Here is my best attempt at a regular hexagon. All the angles and sides are equal, bless you, in measure. Did I say that? Yes? OK, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is 180 degrees. If I said the measure of all the angles was 180 degrees, and I said, what is the measure of one angle, what would you have to do? You divide it by 3, right? And 3 represents what? The number of angles. It also represents the number of sides, right? If you have three sides, you also have three angles, correct? So what about if I said, if, if this sum is, right? And we could figure out the sum, but who cares what it is? If I said, here's the sum, and I wanted to figure out what these angles were, what do I have to divide it by? If I want to find out just one angle, what do I have to divide it by? Six, right? So guess what? You take the sum and divide it by n. So if I wanted to find the measure of one angle, I take the sum and divide it by n. Easier written, it looks like this. The sum is what? n minus 2 times 180. And that's all over n. Okay, So when we're talking about finding the measure of an individual angle, we're going to want to use this formula. But we have to make sure it's a regular. right? It has to be regular. That means they all have to be equal to the same. All right? The reason why that's so different is because, well,